In this tutorial, I'm going to show you what's the best way to model this kind of uh, geometry and how you can actually, in a very easy way, uh, model uh, this kind of twisted surfaces. So let's start. So first thing we want to do is actually draw a rectangle. Let's go for the top view. something like this and now let's let's create this as a planar surface so we have the surface area there and let's delete the curve so this will be our first shelf there is one two three four five six of them actually five sorry like so and we're going to add some reference reference lines here and let's add some reference lines again in this way and then I'm just going to add these reference points like so so what I want to do now is I want to use the command that's called okay so the command that you're going to use is called twist and the way that the command works is by um, selecting points from which you want the geometry to twist and then just applying it so it, it requires a bit of testing to see like what's the best angle of of the twist that you want so in this, that, that's the reason why I made these uh, reference points. Uh, but for example, now I see that this kind of uh, uh, this kind of uh, angle twist can can actually work quite well. But I'm just going to try a couple of couple of more times with the different reference points just to see the difference. So for example, let's see uh, if I do twist. from here to here 90 that's the result I'm going to get and this will be my first shelf and uh, if I want to have for example this dot uh, let's see what the difference will be so as you can see uh, the second one is more straight the angle is a little bit different so uh, you can just experiment and, and uh, get uh, the desired look you want since the angle is a little bit different than the first one so uh, we're just going to continue with this so I'm going to delete everything and this will be this will be our uh, reference geometry for the shelf and now let's just copy it like so and uh, now the last thing that's left is to actually maybe scale it a bit something like this maybe scale it up a little bit and I think this is quite good so now what we need to do is join this and let's create let's create a wall for this for these shelves going to rotate them and create simple wall let's move them Let's 
hide it for a second and let's get it some thickness. I'm going to use offset surface command at 0 0.6. Yeah, this is good. So we're going to do for all the rest. And there you go. So now let's reveal the wall. And let's actually let's actually change the uh, the hole in the wall so that we can use it to create this this wood effect inside. So I'm just going to now get uh, the wall boolean inside so that we can use it. To get the result we need. So as you can see this wall is a little bit thin, let's make it thicker just for the practice. Let's go to the top view, let's go to the wireframe mode and let's see. So I'm gonna go until there and I'm going to use boolean difference and there you go. So now oh, let me check something. Yeah, maybe we should move it a little bit inside until that point. And now do the boolean difference. Yeah. And uh, that will be our, our shelf. I'm going to render this now and show you the result. Here is the final rendering. Hope that you like it. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please write them down in the comment section below this video. And uh, if you like this kind of tutorials, please like and share. And make sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the bell icon here so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video.